two, three. All right, guys. So this is going to be our at-home cool-down routine. Uh, we're going to go through them uh, 30 seconds each on exercises that require right and left side. We'll make sure that we'll complete on both sides before we proceed on to the next exercise. So first exercise right off the bat, we're going to set the clock for 30 seconds, and we're going to go cat and dog stretches. So hands and knees. Remember, no flat hands. Take a straight look straight up towards the ceiling. Inhale when you look up, shoulder blades back and down. Exhale, empty out those lungs. I'm gonna crunch my abs, flex my butt. Nice and tight. Inhale, look straight up. And exhale when you come down. Long exhales, hold the bottom of those stretches on each end range, guys, just a little longer than you would normally, okay? This nice, long stretches, okay? Let's go, last one, three, two, and one. Next one, we're gonna do a down dog to a cobra. So it looks like this, we're gonna go into fetal position, butt on my heels, I'm gonna pull through, come into my down dog position, or my cobra position, come right back up into down dog, place my knees on the ground, sit back in a child's pose, Pull myself through again to Cobra. Tuck my toes in, butt goes straight back. Really try to get your heels to come onto the floor, okay? Get a good stretch, bring your knees down, sit back in a child's pose again, okay? Nice and easy, flow through for about 30 seconds, okay? Next one, we're gonna go hip flexor stretches. This is gonna be from our half kneeling position. Okay, nice and tall right through the spine, butt tight, belly button into the back part of your spine. We're gonna extend the hips forward as I lean back. We're gonna pulse through. I like to pulse these hip flexor stretches as opposed to uh, holding the stretch. I find that it just ends up giving me a big, bit better stretch in the, hip, in the front of the hip. We're gonna pulse back, nice and easy. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other, okay? Again, if you guys need different variations, Will is showing the progressions where he's leaning back a little further. Alina's gonna be showing different ones. Go ahead and switch, okay? Same thing on the other side. Remember, tuck the toe in the back. I wanna squeeze my glute belly button in, okay? Nice and easy. You can also add rotations in here if you want. Get a good stretch out of your back. Having the hand come up also works really well. Both hands are gonna be holding a box, leaning back, that'll help you. Make sure that you're leaning back through the shoulders and really getting that extension through the spine, okay? Next one, we're gonna go 90-90. This is our favorite to open up the hips, okay? So just remember, belly button in, ankle nice and tight, get nice and tall. My left hand is on the ankle, right hand is gonna be on the knee. We're gonna fold over, belly button in, right back up again. 30 seconds on one side. Just taking it nice and easy, just trying to move the hip. We just finished our workout. You can hold these stretches if you want to as well. You don't need to move, get a nice little stretch coming through. We're gonna go 10, 10 more seconds here. Remember, breathe tight, okay? Nice and easy. We're still practicing our diaphragmatic breathing, okay? Let's switch sides, okay, same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna come over, belly button in. First, make sure that you're lined up properly. We want that front shin parallel to the wall. Back shin is gonna be uh, parallel to the opposite wall to my right, okay? I'm gonna come over, belly button in. I'm gonna hold my stretch, get a nice little stretch at the end. You wanna hold your stretches a little longer at the end of your workout. Um, creating more of a static stretch when you do these things. Belly button in, nice and easy. We're gonna go two and one. All right, hamstring stretch, okay? We're gonna go on our backs for our hamstring stretch, okay? We're gonna grab the back of our knee here, pull that leg straight up into the air, pull the toe back, make a muscle out of the thigh. We come in and then right back out again, okay? This bottom leg, it's driving against the floor just so that my lower back stays nice and flat. You can relax the neck if you want. Nice and easy. 
Let's go two more. Pull that belly button in, pull those toes back. We don't really need to pull the leg back. As long as it's right in front of the hip, you're good, okay? Let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Ankle's gonna be nice and tight. Arms are gonna be straight. We're gonna pull it straight up. And then right back in again. Pull it straight up. And then right back in again. Let's pull it straight up one more time. Make a muscle, hold it nice and tight. Belly button into the back part of your spine. And then back in again, okay? Roll over onto your stomach. We're gonna pull the knee in. This is our pigeon stretch. We're gonna come in and we're gonna bring that left knee to left elbow. And you wanna bring that ankle up as high as you can to the opposite side, okay? We wanna kinda of sit back. I like to rock into this one a little bit. It really helps my hips kinda of loosen up. Belly button in again. Nice and tall if you want. We can come up here too as well. We'll show you a different variation of how we can do the piriformis stretch too as well if you want to go on your back. If this tends to be a little too intensive for the knee or even for your back, we recommend that you use the one that Will's doing too as well. Okay, Nice and easy. Okay, let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Okay, Remember, we're trying to hold these stretches for about 30 seconds in length. Okay, Nice and easy. Okay, just kind of opening up the hips, getting nice and tall, nice and easy, okay? Work on your breathing, guys. Whenever we're cooling down, you really want to work on your breathing. Make sure everything is in control, okay? We're going to go another 10 seconds here. Try to get that hip to hit the floor if you can. Belly button in. If you're on a wood floor, this tends to be a little easier because you can slide that back foot in, into a deeper stretch, okay? Let's go sideline adductor stretches. These are my favorite, okay? So I'm gonna take the foot off to the side, okay? My hands are gonna be here and I'm gonna do a gentle rock so that I'm sitting back my hips onto my heel, okay? I want my wrist right below my shoulders. We're gonna come back. We're just gonna get that nice gentle rock. Same thing driving from that foot that's out. We want to sit back as deep as we can without changing the shape of my spine, all right? So I'm going to get into my neutral spine, rock back, try to keep that lower back nice and straight, right back. Go ahead and switch. Foot to the outside. Remember, we're doing 30 second intervals. Belly button in, drive from the hands, bring it back. Drive from the hands, bring it back, okay? you want, you've got really good control, you want to pull with that hip flexor all the way in and then right back up again. Pull from the hip flexor all the way back in and then right back up again. Okay. Next one, we're going to do our side lying quad stretch. So we lay down on our side, you can rest here and we're going to pull that ankle back nice and tight. We're just going to hold this stretch if you want, you can also relax here. Will is showing one where you can stand up, use a chair or something like that. You can also do one where you're just half kneeling. Um, I'm gonna let you do the half kneeling one real quick. Where you just pull back up, similar to that. So this is gonna be a little bit harder one that Alina's showing, whereas if you have balance issues or if maybe this flexibility is not, you don't have the flexibility in the quad, you can do that. Let's switch sides. We're going to do the other side. The other thing you can do is grab a towel if you can't reach back and grab the ankle on any of the variations of these exercises. You can wrap a towel right around your ankle. Use that towel to hold the stretch. Okay, Belly button in. Try to squeeze your glute on this side too as well. Okay, You're going to go nice and tight. You're going to go another 10 seconds holding the stretch. Three. Two, one, good job. Chest stretch, one of my favorites. You're gonna go right on your knees. You can either sit, you can stand too as well. Palms are gonna be down, and we're gonna open up with our thumbs driving towards the back room, okay? One of the things that you wanna watch out for this stretch is that we're not flaring the rib cage. So I'm gonna keep my abs nice and tight as I pull back, and then right back in again. Okay. So again, hands come out, get that stretch, get your squeezing of the shoulder blades to come together, 
and then right back in again. Okay, let's go with two more. Good, right back in. Remember 30 seconds on each one of these exercises, and then back in again. Okay, next exercise, tricep stretch. Okay, we're gonna go across the body. I'm gonna cup right, below, right above the elbow joint here. I'm gonna hold my stretch here, okay? Nice and easy. Just gonna be here for about a couple seconds. You can go 15 seconds and just split it in half for this 30 seconds, which we're gonna do now. Hold it in again for another three, two, one, and then switch sides, okay? Now when you feel this stretch, you're gonna feel it right in the back of the shoulder, okay? Hold it nice and tight again. You're cupping the right above the elbow joint is where you're cupping it, okay? You're gonna go nice and easy, holding that stretch for another five seconds. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go above the head, and now we're gonna drive that elbow. Go gentle on this, especially if you have shoulder problems. You just wanna go nice and gentle, get a nice little stretch out of your lat, get a nice little stretch out of your tricep, okay? Nice and easy. Same thing here, watch the rib flare, okay? Always try to get those ribs to come down. Good idea to always address your core when you're doing these exercises, okay? Nice breathing. Again, 15 seconds, we'll switch. We'll go on the other side, nice and easy, okay? Now, next exercise, we're gonna do our shoulder cars. So we're gonna be on our ground, okay? We've got about two more exercises to go and that'll complete our cool down, okay? Nice and easy, shake it out, okay? Next exercise, let's go shoulder cars. So we're gonna go hands and knees, now, you don't always need to go hands and knees. You can do it either off the chair or standing, just like Will's gonna do. We're gonna go left arm out. Remember, like we're shaking somebody's hand here. Rotate all the way through. We're gonna do a big circle all the way to the back of the room, squeezing our tricep here, and then we're gonna reset, okay? Toes are tight to the ground. We come up, rotate all the way back in, pulling that thumb right to the back of the room, and then back in. If you guys want to put a foam roller or something, you guys can always kind of put a foam roller standing right next to you so that you guys can focus on not trying to tip that foam roller over as, as you go through your circle. Okay, let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Turn around for you guys. We're gonna go belly button in. Now remember, a couple key points when we're doing mobility exercises. We don't want to change the shape of the spine when we're going through these exercises, right? So if I go through here, I'm not gonna be changing my shape at all. I'm gonna to try to maintain my shape with my left hand and my two feet in the back. That'll help keep the stability of my spine so that I can get a true read on how flexible and mobile my, my shoulder joint is. I don't wanna move other joints uh, and give a, an unauthentic read of how, how well my mobility and flexibility is in my right shoulder, okay? Last one, we're gonna complete with our toe touch series. We're gonna stand up to our feet, nice and easy, okay? We're gonna go first position, we're gonna go, actually let's flip from the side. We're gonna go one, and we're gonna hang out here, okay? We're gonna pull the belly button into the back part of your spine, nice and easy. Second one, we're gonna go down. Now this, because we're doing so many movements here, I want you to go for about a minute. Okay, when you're in this position, I want you to stack the spine. So don't get concerned with coming deep into the deep squat. If you wanna sit up here, that's fine too as well. Okay, we're gonna use our arms to pry the knees apart, nice and easy. And then we're gonna go right back to our first position. Then we come back down again, second time through, we're gonna add a movement. We're gonna reach back with the right arm, all the way back as we push to the inside of the knee with the opposite hand, and then right back in again, and then we move to the other side, really opening up the chest, right back in, hands on the floor, right back up again. And let's do that one more time. Here we go, down, nice and tall, right arm reaches back, bring it all the way down through, left arm reaches back, bring it all the way down through, okay? Hip comes up first, and then we're slowly gonna wrap the spine up. And that's gonna complete our warm, our cool down, actually, okay? So if you guys have any questions about that, please text us, 
Email us any type of information, but that'll conclude your workout. Always finish your workouts with this, with this cool down uh, so we stay nice and protected and injury free and our bodies are ready to rock tomorrow. Talk to you guys later.